trying to clinch the series against the Braves tonight at 8 o'clock. Phillies Braves at the bank. Hopefully it's Bedlam at the bank again tonight. <clears throat> but, you know, let's talk about last night. Before I get into it, yo, YouTube fan, like, subscribe, all the other good stuff. And let's let's talk about last night's game and, and what transpired. Orlando Arcia popping off with his gums after game two, after the hit, and then the throw out of Bryce Harper when he was trying to get back to, to first base. And he was popping junk in the locker room saying, hey, attaboy, Bryce, great job. Good job, Bryce. You know, wait, wait, way to get thrown out, right? And apparently he didn't know that social media existed or cell phones exist or smart devices. And word got out. And the Phillies got wind of it, and Bryce heard it, obviously. And he came in with the the Deion Sanders, um, his personal, something to that extent, his personal shirt on, as well as Nick Castellanos had the, the uh, prime apparel on as well, coming into game three. And they came in there, and look, Braves to their credit, they came out. Acuna got a hit, drove in Osuna, got them on the board one and nothing early in that game. And they were really feeling themselves. They were really feeling themselves. And rightfully so, man. They're a really good team. They have a top-notch offense, a historic offense, if we're being honest. And they were up one nothing. got got the run off of Nola. And then bottom half of the inning, the Phillies come up to the dish. And Castellanos, my man, came in and set it off. And ever since he made those adjustments in the offseason after last year to his swing, to his approach, to his mindset. He's looked like the Nick Castellanos that we thought we were getting when we originally got him from the Reds, the guy that was hitting 30 to 40 home runs a year on average. And we got that guy. You know, he put up 29 this year, and he's been hitting for average as well. And he came out, boom, shot the left field. Got a nice pitch on the inside of the plate, took it out the park, 1-1, one, one, tied up. Response. Loved it. And then later in the third inning, Marsh, get on, Marsh gets on and, and Trey Turner, they get on base. And Bryce Harper comes up to the plate with all these things that I just mentioned. The backstory with the trash talk from Arcia and, and the shirts that they wore coming into the game. He comes up to the plate, cool, calm, collected like a cold-blooded killer. Take, gets a couple of pitches. It might have been two or three pitches, whatever. He fouled off one. And then he gets a hold of, I think it was a slider. And this was absolutely, this was Bryce on Bryce crime. You know, Bryce, Bryce's should not be assaulting other Bryce's, but that's what happened. You know, you put a guy out there, they had another starter, he was injured, so that's why they made the decision to go with one of the younger guys. And they, they went with Bryce, damn, I can't even remember his name now. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Bryce Elder. They went with Bryce Elder on the mound who had a very, very good year this year, don't get me wrong, but he's not Strider, and he's not Max Freed either. And he got up there, and he he made a mistake pitch. I think it was a slider to Harper, and Harper took that thing for a ride to right field. As soon as it left the bat, he held it like this, held his bat like this after he hit it, and he, he knew. We all knew. We all knew as soon as he left the bat, because Bryce Harper is that guy. Regardless of what happens in these playoffs, and obviously we want to win the World Series, the impact he's had on this team in this city, you can't put a number on it. You can't put a value on it. He, he gives me that feeling with the Phillies like the one that I had when the Eagles traded for T.O. When they got T.O., you knew from the first play of that preseason game against the Ravens, when they hit him down the right sideline for 81 yards, I guess pun intended, for a touchdown, you knew you were about to see something special, especially if they would have kept the thing together, kept the crew together for more than one year. But that's the same feeling I got when they signed Bryce Harper, and that's the same feeling that has been growing at each step when – it's been time to step up and answer the bell. He's not only answered the call, but he's knocked it out the park, literally and proverbially. Uh, proverbially, he has knocked it out of the park, and he lit that bank on fire last night. The cr the crowd was rocking, and when he rounded second base, he turned. 
looked him right in his eyes, and Arcia wouldn't look at him. If you're going to talk smack, hey, stand by your word, my guy. You know, stand by it. Just just take it on the chin. Say, yeah, yeah, you know what? I talk smack. You got me. I'm, I'm going to respond back on my own time. That's it. But boy, did Bryce Harper respond. He didn't say nothing. He just looked at him like, yeah, you know what time it is. And then later in the third inning, it didn't stop there. Bryson Stott got on base. Um, Alec Bohm got on base. And then Ray Muto got a hold of another pitch that Elder left hanging over the middle of the plate. And he hit it to the gap in left center field. Took it for a ride. Two more runs. Six to one. Like that. Out of nowhere. Like that. Right? So, you know, that Phillies offense just... The Braves offense is historic, but... They are so good that the Phillies have gotten overshadowed in the midst of all the hype and, and pomp and circumstance surrounding the Braves. The fact that the Phillies offense is just as good, especially down the stretch of this season, as the Braves offense. It's, it's like comparing an A++ in the Braves to an A+, in the Phillies. At that point, does it really make a difference like the small minutia, like the small difference between the A plus and the A plus plus, not really. Either way, either way, you have two offenses that are damn near unstoppable, and what it comes down to is the pitching, and our pitching has been better. And then two innings later, Bryce Harper, he said 408 feet, not good enough. Let me take another pitch for a ride for 414 point, uh, feet. Let's, let's take it another six feet and, and send that to damn near dead center. My man's trying to climb over the wall, damn near flips over the wall, trying to catch the ball, 7-1. to one. And that team, it, it, if you looked over that dugout, it looked like their hearts weren't even beating anymore. You could hear a pin drop over there in that dugout. And then he brought in the rookie, I, I forgot his name, and he got, he got tuned up in the sixth inning. You know, the, the, the Braves put up another run, you know, credit to them. But then in the sixth inning, Trey Turner. Homer's off, I think um, I think the rookie, I can't remember his name. Um, he, he was a rookie that um, was good enough to get a scholarship to play football at in high school or college. So he's a very talented guy, but he got rocked. And then Castellanos and Marsh, they got, I think, back-to-back -back home runs in the eighth inning. It might have been back-to-back. -back. I don't remember, but they got they put up a home run apiece in the eighth inning. So Bryce Harper had two home runs and Castellanos had two home runs. They both came in wearing the, that prime apparel and their attitudes matched it and their play matched it as well. So at the end of the day, the Phillies just straight up manhandled the Braves 10-2 to at the bank. And if you guys recall last year, in the third inning of game three last year against the Braves, coincidence, maybe, maybe not, they put up six runs as well in route to winning the NODS against the Braves. So, you know, go figure. Go figure. Uh, you know, what, what What can I say? NODS, NOCS, whatever. The point is they got the Braves to F up out of there in spectacular fashion last year in Game 3 proceeding on to get them up out of there. And then this year they did the same thing in Game 3 of the series against the Braves who happened to be the, one of the best teams, if not the best team in baseball, this year as well. In game three, they just bombed them out. So going into game four, you have Spencer Strider back on the mound. You have Spencer Strider back on the mound, and he's going against Ranger Suarez. So you, you have, I believe, a rematch of game one. I think Suarez was on the, on the mound in game one as well. So you have a rematch, and... Well, we're going to see what happens here. We are going to see what happens here. Because, mind you, we beat Spencer Strider in the first game. We got two runs off of him. Bryce actually had a home run off of him. Bryce just been on fire. Let's just let's just not forget about that. Let's, let's never forget about that. that. Bryce Harper is the man. In the words of the late, great Harry Callis, he is the man. So, you know, tonight you got Spencer Strider on the mound. And, look, do I think we can hit him? Yes, but... To the Philly fans out there that are going to be out there at the park, be careful what you wish for. Because there's a clip of Spencer Strider getting a question 
from a reporter on the field, you know, down in Atlanta or wherever. And he's like, what's one hot take that you have? And Stroud was like, well, you know, during the pandemic when we had no fans in the stands, I like that better. We don't need the fans. I, I like it when it's quieter, which is neither here nor there. You know, whatever. You know, everybody has their preferences. But then there was a couple of fans at the game last night. They had a sign up that said, hey, first off, they were like, we want Strider. We want Strider. And then they, they started doing the, oh, they started mocking the Braves chant as we were going up by like six, eight runs or whatever. And then there was a picture, the camera panned to somebody that had a sign that said, hey, Spencer, get some sleep or something like that because we're going to be even louder tomorrow night. Right? So it's like, I get it. I get it. But let's, let's, let's tone it back a little bit. Let's not tone it back, but focus all that energy on just beating the living dog shit out of them, not on throwing insults and trying to get in their head and get them riled up. No, 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 no. Be be a cold-blooded assassin and, and channel all that energy into just systematically breaking this team down so we can move on ahead about our business and, and face the Diamondbacks and the NLCS. All right? Let's just, let's just do that. Stay focused. So I, I think that the Phillies are going to get the win tonight. That That's my, my thought. I thought they would get the win in game two. And, and granted, the Braves stepped up and they were able to come back in that game. But make no mistake about it. They could have easily gotten swept. We, we could have easily not be having a game tonight because they were getting beat 5-1. to one. And Wheeler made one mistake, two-run shot by Austin Riley. And then they got to somebody else later on to take the lead. But outside of that, like going above and beyond to get two-run shots, a two-run home run there, a two-run home run there, here, it's been pretty clear that the Phillies are head and shoulders the better team in this series. And we need to continue to focus on doing the little things right and keep those bats hot, as well as the pitching. So let me briefly go over to Aaron Nola. Aaron Nola pitched the gem. He looked like the Aaron Nola that we came to know and love from the early 2010. Well, we got drafted later than that, but early on in his career, that's the Aaron Nola that we became accustomed to, the guy that was an instant day one starter every year. You didn't even question it. You knew Aaron Nola was the ace and he was the starter. And then he started having inconsistency over the past couple of years. But this playoffs, these playoffs right here, um, this Braves game, and then the game he had against, mm, what was the first team we beat? Don't remember, don't care. Um, he's just been phenomenal on fire, location good. The, the break, the um, the spin rate on his breaking pitches, especially that knuckle curve, Stood to perfection. The fastball, he's locating it very well, especially on the lower outside corner, which is the Hall of Fame spot. If you can, if you can paint the outside corners and and, and in particular the top outer outer corner and especially the lower outer corner, if you can paint those spots, you're damn near unhittable. And he's been doing that as well as Zach Wheeler's been doing that as well. So, you know, kudos to him. He had. A dominant performance, you know, and and outside of the home run that Wheeler gave up against Austin Riley, it was still a five three game at that point. He's been dominant as well. So I look for Ranger Suarez to get four to five innings, get a little bit more leeway in this game, and turn it over to the bullpen because here's the thing with the Braves. Their starting pitching is phenomenal, but once you get past those starting pitchers, their bullpen is, they're solid, but they're nothing spectacular. And 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 we've seen that. As soon as we got to that bullpen, now mind you, they didn't put some of their best starters out there, but as soon as we get to that bullpen, it's a whole different ball game. When you get to our bullpen, our bullpen's much better than theirs, in my opinion, which is why I picked us to beat them. Because our starting pitching has been very good. It's been neck and neck with the Braves, but our bullpen is clearly better than the Braves. And when we get to their bullpen first with our offense, that's why you see us putting up those crooked numbers. And for them to win, they're going to have to put up a lot of home runs, most likely coming from behind. Or hopefully for them, I don't want to see this, get a big lead early and try to sustain that. You know, try to get like a six to seven lead run lead early 
and then try to only give up five runs through the bullpen and hold on to beat us because their bullpen can be hit around. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think about the whole thing with Bryson RC and the rest of the Braves team. You know, his response, his loud response or his two loud responses and his stare down as he went around second base. Let me know what you guys think about the game coming up tonight and who's going to win. I'm picking the Phillies. Um, let me know what you guys think. And then I'll be dropping another video soon because I'm actually about to go ahead and look at the press conference, the opening press conference for David Benavidez and Boo Boo Andrade. I'm excited about that fight. That's one that I'm really looking forward to. But um, that's it for now. I'm getting ready for the game, so enjoy them. Be safe, and I plan to catch you guys after a Phillies win. Deuces. Thank you.